Welcome to the WinCC Open Architecture Getting Started Series by Chasm Digital Factory Solutions. Chasm is the premier Siemens industry channel partner for advanced SCADA technologies. My name is Sean and I will be walking you through the Getting Started Series for WinCC OA. In this Getting Started video, I will cover the Getty, also known as the graphical editor within the development environment of WinCC Open Architecture. Let's start off by launching a project. In this case, I will select YouTube test and put this project into runtime. My console session will automatically pop up and start and start up all of my managers. If you have a project and were following us along in the previous getting started videos, your graphical editor, also known as the Getty, should launch automatically. I've pre-configured mine to start manually and you do this by right clicking on the manager and clicking edit manager properties. Notice I have mine set to manual, which is why mine did not automatically start. So in this case, I will simply select it, hit the green button and go. This is my graphical editor and by looking at it, we can do multiple different things depending on your style of development. We have three primary views um, for tools that we can use to develop. We've got some pre-built objects that you can use, um, standard in infos, inputs, LEDs, objects, panels. There's a lot of pre-built graphics in this package. There's also a property editor that I will cover here shortly. Uh, for me, I like to collapse these so that I have three different tabs, or not collapse, but tab these over so that I have more space to work on screens here. Uh, the way that you start creating a new window or picture or graphics is by clicking this little icon here for a new panel. The panels themselves uh, are considered objects which have, not, which have associated properties and they can also have extended properties depending on what you're working with. Um, there is a grayed out icon here. There is future functionality coming in that there will be pre-built resolutions for a lot of the mobile tablets that are out on the market. We also have your data point selector here which are all your, your objects. We will be covering that in a later tutorial. We also have the system management tool. So this is another configuration element of the WinCC environment. We can do all kinds of database uh, configurations here. Um, we can do uh, ASCII managers, online backups, archive compressions. We can do some diagnostics, take a look at the system overview. This is all pre-built system screens. Um, this event manager right here represents my server. If I had multiple servers on a network, it would all show up here. You can also see RAM and memory check and adjust those as needed uh, specific to your application. Drivers, Modbus, all your main controllers, and we have additional drivers should you need something more. IEC 61850 is a, a new addition with some changes going on in the utility market with DMP3, 61850, so on and so forth. All of the OPCs are available, both the standard OPC and OPC UA. User administration, some reporting, actually a lot of reporting, and then some setting items, and we'll cover some of this uh, in later tutorials. We also have topology where we can add, um, add multiple screens and configure each one of those screens, the ability to select templates that have pre-configured shells. We also have the idea of plant modeling, which fits the MES ISA S95 model, which I will have a tutorial just solely dedicated to that. And then we've got just tons of different drawing tools. Um, this cool little pipe tool. Um, let me go ahead and start that all over again, but I can start a pipe. Um, you know, really quick tool. And you can change the width on these. You know, they've all got properties and you can do a lot with them. We have your frames that you can put these on. We've got these cool little radial buttons. Uh, let's see here. There's some fancy little clock. And 
you know, I already put that one there. Let's take a look at maybe this this button. We'll add a, we'll add a couple of those just to show you. These have extended properties on them, and to give you an idea of that, right now the skin on this one is barrel, and we can go square, slider, brushed metal. And if I click this little button right here, this will make my test panel, and you can see what some of these graphics look in a runtime test or a quick test. Um, there's also, you know, embedded cameras that we can do, uh, embedded web viewers, um, 3D charts, attention effects. Um, there's, there's just a lot of different graphical tools uh, available in the OA environment. We also have the ability, a very powerful script editor that I can take and write in in any type of scripting um, functionality that I want and then each one of these items I can also use wizards to use them so you can use the wizards to write a script or you can write it free-handed if you're a script kitty and like doing those types of things but a very powerful tool and just some navigation and different components that are available in the package that is it for this tutorial for more information about WinCC Open Architecture software or training, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at chasm.com.